the name of the tool is Julius AI, which can do the data analysis in seconds. It's so simple and very easy to use. Now here, if you see at the back end, it is generating a code of Python. Hello everyone and welcome to this new tool for data analyst, data scientist and all those people who works with data. The name of the tool is Julius AI. People have been using Excel, Tableau, Power BI, Alteryx for many years. But now this is something which is interesting tool named as Julius AI, which can do the data analysis in seconds. You can upload the data, get the answers very, very quickly. The thing which a normal person takes eight hours, the same thing can be got into two hours or let's say less than that. Now, if a person normally takes, let's say, eight hours in a day to get all the answers, this tool, Julius AI, will give you the answers in hardly 10 to 15 minutes. It's so simple and very easy to use. Julius AI is one of the most famous tool. It's used by 1 million people across the world. Its name has been featured into Forbes and Business Insider magazines. And it is one of the trending tool right now. Now, what are the things which can be done by this particular tool named as Julius AI? Let me notify those things. The first thing it can do is automated data cleaning. Bring the dirty data and Julius AI can clean that for you. Second, it can also do the exploratory data analysis, predictive analysis. People who want to forecast about the business, about the data, they can use this Julius AI to predict the data. Also, it works on the natural language processing, NLP, natural language processing. The other part is data visualization, integration with other tools like Excel, Tableau and Power BI. Yes, it can integrate with those tools as well. It also has some collaboration features. It can create custom reports and dashboards. AI powered insights. And the last one, which is very interesting and everybody can use it because it's a no code, low code. It doesn't need a person with expertise into coding. Any person can use it. So this is very useful for all the business owners, for all the people who are doing a research, for all the data scientists and data analysts, which are spread across the world. Now this tool, Julius AI has many features. Now let's try to uncover features one by one in this particular video. So here we go. We are on the website named as Julius.ai and you can see analyze your data with computational AI. Now here it says it has been used by 1 million users across the world. Different things can be done over here. In order to work onto that, you have to just sign up to this account and then you can click on start a chat. Now you can chat with this particular tool to get all the answers. You don't have to be an expert into it. So you can see on the left hand side, this is the options over here, which says threads, workflows, files, documents, community forum and the model AI. So first topic we'll talk about is how to analyze your data. Now, obviously, we have so many data, superstore data, sales data, HR data. But today we'll talk about one interesting data set, which is Olympics for India 2024. Yes, everyone, Olympics is a trending news right now. And India has won six medals right now. Now, let's understand this data. So I went to this Wikipedia and I saw this India at Olympics 2024. And when I scroll down, it says there are five bronze, one silver, and there are total six medals which have been won. Who are the people who have won this medals? One is Neeraj Chopra. Everybody knows it. Then there's a Manu and the Manu has won two medals right now. Manu Bakir, which is for shooting. Then Sarab Jodh Singh is there. The other person is Swapnil. And these are the other team, which is Indian men's national hockey team. And the last one is Aman Sherawat. So all these people have contributed, you know, their work, their effort and all those things in this place. But now the thing is six medals we have got, but there were 100 and 10 approximate nominations, 110 people participated and 11,000 people across the world participated in this event. Now we are doing something of analysis of this work. Okay, we'll try to download the data, analyze with the help of Julius AI. Now, obviously a person working into sports will not be technically that smarter. So you and me have a responsibility right now, being a technically smart person, being a, a data analyst, being a data scientist into these tools, how we can help them analyze the data and how we can be ready for 2028 Olympics rather than being then ready. Now, what are the planning we can do right now? Let's do it with the help of Julius AI. So right now, what I can do is I can go to Google and type here 2024 Olympics data Kaggle and I can just click on the first link over here. And uh, from this link, I'll be getting the data. I can download this 3 MB of data, start download. So once I download the data, I can right click extract all. I can just double click open this file, which is athletes. Now it has all the data of uh, all the players across the world. Almost 11,000 people have participated in this particular event, 11,000. From India, only 110 people were there for this Olympics. Now, this is the data. There are plenty of different columns. If I select the column heading, I can see there are almost 35 columns. It gives me the detail, the date of birth, the city, the which country the person was born and what sports the person has played and everything. So you can see that's a name given, the name shot, name TV, gender name, function name, country name. 
And when I scroll on the right hand side, I have all the details. You can see what is the height and weight of the person. Everybody knows, right? Because of just 100 grams, a person was being discarded from that event to participate. So this plays a very important role here, disciplines, events, and so on. So if I scroll on the right hand side, you can see a lot of data set. Now, you and me can analyze data with the help of Power BI and Excel because we are been working into this. But imagine a person who's from non-technical background and they want to analyze the data. AI tool, which is Julius AI, can help them analyze the data. Let's do it, everyone. So I can close the file, don't save, and I can open this Julius AI. So now this is the user interface of Julius AI. Now what I can do here is I can just click on this pin icon, click on upload a file. So I can upload a Excel file spreadsheet or I can upload a PDF document. The other part is Google Sheet. Directly I can upload from Google Sheet and also some existing files if I have, I can upload that. Now when I click on upload file, I will pick up the file which is athletes. All the Olympics 2024 data of 11,000 people has been uploaded here. Now about the security, I'll talk about it. It's more secure again. When I do that, you can see either I can select the data which I want because huge data. I'm not interested in entire data. I can select either one column, two columns, three columns like this, or I can select multiple rows. Whichever I want, I can pick up. So if I want to select the entire data, I'll not select anything. I'll just keep it as it is. Now here on the right hand side, if you see, there are multiple options. One is Python, one is R, the other one is Lean Python. So what method do I want the output? So people who use Python, they will like this option because being a non-expert into Python, being a non-tech savvy into Python, I can still get the answers. Python is mostly used for predictive analysis, also used for data cleaning, data visualization. So here I'll select the option as Python. And now I can just tell them, give me the insights. Enter. Now that's it. So when I say give me the insights, it will upload the data. It will take 60 seconds approximately, 120 seconds, not more than that. And it will give me all the insights about the data. So this is so easy and so fast. Now here, if you see at the back end, it is generating a code of Python. Now imagine if you're a Python expert, you can understand the amount of time required for you to master a Python, the amount of time it required to get the insights about the data. Here, this Julius AI is at working at the back end to go pick up the data, analyze the data, clean the data, and this will give me the insights. While doing this, there is a possibility you might get an error, but it will not stop. It will keep on retrying itself to get the output. So you can see, I apologize for the error. It seems there might be an issue, but still it is trying to get the output. So when I scroll down, you can see it has given me all the details. So it says range index, five entries. Now it has given us the total 35 columns. These are name of the columns. These are the data types. So you can see everything has been given here. So this is known as the metadata about the file. Not only this, it has given us all the information in detail. We just need to understand that properly. Now, since I'm from India, India is my country, and I'll try to understand about India, right? So I want to find out how many people participated from country India, okay? So now I've asked a question, give me the count of people from India. So from that 11,000 data set, it will just find out the answers. It will do the logic calculation at the backend. And this will give me the count of data at the backend. Perfect. So you can see now we have got the answer. It says the number of athletes from India by country is 112. These are the number of athletes. Now this is a data picked up from Kaggle. So do not worry if the data is little bit here and there because on Wikipedia, you will get the right information. Kaggle, it is uploaded by a person like you and me. So I've just downloaded that data, uploaded on this Julius AI and it is giving the answers. So this is 112 participants according to Kaggle data. Now here, I can keep on asking questions over here. For example, give me the top 10 countries and by count. Okay. Enter. So top 10 countries by count. So I'm interested to find out where do we stand? Okay. If there are 10 countries, top 10, how many people have participated from those countries? So here it will go at the back end and find out the answers quickly. If you see the Python code is created at the back end. If I want to minimize this Python code, I can click on this option. The code would be minimized. And here, if I just zoom the screen, you can see United States 619. And then there's a France, then there's an Australia, Germany, and so on. Why this count is important? If you are a kind of minister, if you are a person who takes a decision for the uh, sports, you will understand the more nomination, the more chances to win the game. Okay. So out of 619, obviously 5, 10% people have win. 
in our case 110 people appeared approximately out of which we got the six medals so the more number of participants more number of details we can get it now you can see it has also created a bar chart okay i did not ask it it has given me a complimentary as well so here a bar chart is created for the top 10 countries now this was about the data insights data analysis now if i want to understand about data visualization so i can tell them the question I've asked is create a pie chart about top 10 sports and the percentage. Okay, so I want to understand which sports is mostly there in the Olympics and major people, which one they play. Because cricket has not been uh, played right now. If cricket started playing in the Olympics, I think uh, the TRP and people will start paying attention a lot on that. So I want you to understand to create a pie chart about top 10 sports and it has created some pie chart. So you can see, so a person, you can understand athletics, which is given 33%. Sailing, Judo, Handball, Hockey, Rowling and so on. So these are the percentage distribution where maximum people are been, uh, you know, participating. So as a strategic person, you definitely try to invest time into that sports where less people are getting nominated, where less people are participating. So the chances of winning would be higher. Okay. So here, Judo, Shooting, you can see only 6 percentage. If I ask the other question, give me the bottom 10 you know, uh, percentage or participation in that Olympic sports. So it can give me the answers as well. So let's say I'll try to find out. I'll just copy the same text over here and control C, control V. And I'll say instead of top 10, I'll tell them bottom 10, enter. So bottom 10 sports and the percentage distribution. So obviously as a person, okay, uh, a data analyst, data scientist job is to help the decision maker with the insights. So that the person can take a decision. Okay, here we go. And it is working at the back end, creating a pie chart. It will take few seconds, but not the, not more than 60 seconds. So in today's time, people are moving towards AI. And that is one of the reason. About the data security, I'll come on the end part. I'll talk about the security part as well. And here, if you see bottom 10 sports and the percentage. Okay, these are the bottom 10 sports percentage. So... Obviously, if I keep on asking many, many questions, it will give me the right answers. So right now, roughly it is giving the answers as 8%, 11% and so on. These are the bottom 10 percentage. So the lowest one is the basketball, it says, uh, triathlon, uh, cycling, mountain bike, only two people. So we can think about if you want more medals, how we can get it with the help of nominating people in that area. Okay, so this was about the data analysis and data visualization part. All right. So once we have done all the communication, all the analysis, all the insights. Now, if you think this data has to be shared with someone, some of your colleagues sitting on the other part, you can see on the right hand side, there's a share button. I can click on that link over here and this link is copied. Now I can go to the incognito mode and I can paste it here. So any person whom with you share the link will be able to see all the chat summary, what you've done. So for me, it is very easy. I can send a link directly on email, on WhatsApp, and the person can see what the analysis is talking about so i don't have to separately document into word or power one or something it's very simple and easy here so that is one uh, simple example of sharing the data also suppose i think i need to download this chart i can just click on this download button and this chart will be downloaded into a png format and uh, this is what i can share with the participant so it's very very interesting and useful so now who should use this particular tool for whom this julius ai would be useful all those people in the world who doesn't like to write any code, they want to get the answers fast in a cheaper manner, they can use this particular tool. So all the people who are doing a research, they have to do a lot of research, analysis part. All the entrepreneurs, they don't have time and energy to manage people. So that is a very good tool for them. All the people who are writing some theses, research, and for presentation purpose as well, all the data analysts in the world, whoever have difficult tasks and they don't know where to go, Julius here is a one-stop solution for them. So this is one area which I can show. Now, one interesting part which I have not shown here is on the left hand side, if you see there's a new thread option, new thread option, when you click, there are some already created workflows, approximately 50 plus workflows, which are there. So popular workflows are there, newest workflow are there. For example, if I go to popular, you can see you can combine two CSV files, you can write an essay, you can filter or split a file. If I go to other place on the second page, you can see what are the other things. I can click on number three and descriptive statistics, prepare spreadsheet. I can convert PDF to Excel, Excel to PDF and so on. So like this already existing workflows are created here. Now, if you are a person 
who can create a workflow, you can just click on this plus button and a workflow would be created. Some companies do a repetitive work. Think about it, write down what is the repetitive work related to text, files, images, pictures you do. You can feed the data here and it will do a repetitive work for you. We can save a lot of time over here. The last part of this video is the model lab. Now, this is a very interesting additional part. Here, uh, we use GPD, we use Llama, we use Claude and so on, different LLMs. You can click on select a model. And these are all the LLMs at one place. Llama 3, Gemini, you can see Command R, Cloud A, Haku and so on. So all these tools are already available. You can select any one of them and you can start chatting what you do other places. So again, a person who is not satisfied by one particular LLM, they can use multiple options over here. Okay. The next part is the files option. So people are thinking about the safety, security of your data. Every one hour, every one hour, the files are deleted from this particular platform. Every one hour. So you have to make sure whatever you do the analysis, it has to be done in the one hour here. Okay. So files are available for one hour after last use after which the data will be permanently removed. So, Julius AI does not use the data for training the model. They just discard the data right away. That model is already trained. We just have to use on this part here. Now, the best part about this tool again is you can get free access with limited chats over here. And if you're a student or if you're an academic person, you'll get 50% discount on this Julius AI. Just try this tool. Do not be left behind just because you're sticking to the traditionary uh, tools like Excel and Power BI and Tableau. Make sure you keep on learning different new tools about the AI part and the data analyst part, which is Julius AI. So the link is given in the chat window. You can just click on the link, enroll and, you know, go to this platform, explore and see what things you can do with this one tool. I wish you all the best.